Chapter 5, Beyond the Knowledge of Man Knowledge without wisdom is a tree without roots. We as human beings have speculated in many areas of our universe. After centuries of pondering, we've developed ideas pertaining to the manifestation of life, and labeled these concepts, truth. The truth is we don't know the beginning of life. We have blindly accepted the theorizations of idealists who visualized the manifestation of life as being. Through this visualization, many have been led to numerous and divergent beliefs, and drifted from our proper relation to nature. In addition to that, somewhere during our search, we have allowed our true natures to become unbalanced. This imbalance leaves us partial people, stimulated from only a physical point of view, thus leaving our spiritual selves unnoticed, unattended. This negative state of mind, hinders our growth in the true knowledge of self. When a transition is made, when we die, many are led to believe that there is a heaven or hell somewhere, waiting to receive us. If we would only use our minds and stop depending on another's concept we would know that heaven and hell are only mental states of mind. How can another human truthfully say where life ends or begins, or what shall take place after life on earth? Don't you think that such a prognostication would be most difficult, unless of course, our informant had experienced it himself? If we would use the time we spend thinking about where we are going when we leave this earth, and think instead about where we are going and what we are doing while upon this earth, the peace and tranquility that life has to offer would be ours for the thinking. Only when the mind is focused inward, will we find the answers to the adversities of mental limitation. The adversities which we ourselves allow to be a part of our lives. It shouldn't matter whether sand or rocks rest on the bottom of the sea, air or electrons beyond the blue skies, as long as we know that we are one with all of creation. The capacity of that oneness can only be found in the midst of self. So remove the dark clouds of ignorance from your mind. Explore the virgin soil of your soul and share the joy that blooms from the intimacy of human nature. The air that we breathe to keep the stream of life flowing, is it not the same air that is conveyed through the beauty of a flower, the whispering of the birds, the muttering of the sea, and our counterpart who stimulates our innermost being? Can we walk together in the midst of winter, and some of us not feel the chills from the high winds? Can we eat of the same food and one not benefit from its nourishment? The sun doesn't separate the gleam of its light when glowing on Earth's face. It shines as one light so that the energy may flow through all of life's possessions. The trees and the rocks do not stand apart, but together as a mountain of nature's beauty so that we all may see and recognize the oneness of the universe. Universal Universal includes, collectively without limit or exceptions. Yet, some of us tend to focus on out of space when thinking universal. Looking collectively would enable us to visualize the whole as one including all of life's possessions. It doesn't matter whether you are in Spain, Japan, or America, the same problem that exists within the realm of one exists within the realm of all, 